Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I'm here checking in to just see what the divine wants us to know, okay? I've been led to use the Mystic Martians deck. Um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Um, and that's okay. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? Don't try to force it in. And thank you so much, everyone, for everything. You guys, the really cool nicknames. <laughs> Keep them coming. I love them. Um, Mammy Becca has definitely stuck. So thank you. Um, thank you to for all the cool comments, you guys. Thank you for all the likes, all of my subscribers. A big thank you, thank you. And everybody new here, hi. I'm Mammy Becca. <laughs> all right. So, Divine, what do you have for my collective? Messages for the collective today? Elusive. Oh boy. <laughs> right out the gate, I'm feeling like somebody, there's a masculine here um, who's been in denial. They project everything about themselves onto other people. I feel like um, they make people, maybe they made you try to make you feel ashamed for things. I don't know. Um, I feel like they're being haunted here. I'm seeing two orbs following this person around. I'm seeing shadow figures, right, haunting them at night. Um, I, I'm, this person's having nightmares. They're definitely being haunted. They're seeing visions here of you. This person could be getting a lot of headaches. I've been picking up on that in my readings a lot. A lot of headaches, okay? They're being shown some things here. Um, by their spirit guides, or maybe it's yours. I, I kind of feel like this person's uh, getting sort of attacked by, by spirit guides right now. Or ancestors, this could be ancestors. Forcing this person to take a look at themselves. Showing them, showing them some things in their dreams. I usually don't get this kind of energy with this deck, but yeah, that's totally what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing some ancestors are coming in and haunting this person. That's basically what I'm seeing, the gist of it. Um, yeah, they're having nonstop memories about you, the star seed, okay? Um, they're, yeah, they're realizing your identity is what this is. The divine is showing this person um, who you are and who they were messing with, okay? Yeah, you could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you were nothing but kind to this person, very compassionate, as above, so below kind of energy, so very tapped into the divine, extremely intuitive. Um, I Yeah, you're a star seed, a light worker, okay? They were messing with the wrong person. Yeah, you're very intuitive, but here's the thing, they're, they're just being shown. Um, and it may, you may be a complete mystery to this person. Like, how do you do what you do kind of thing? I don't know. They're being shown a couple of different ways who you are and um, that they shouldn't have been hurting you. Okay? They shouldn't have taken advantage of you. I'm really feeling like you're a star seed, a divine being. Look at everywhere they go. There's these orbs. I'm telling you, this person is being haunted. They're being haunted and they're being shown, okay, messages, signs all around them. The grays, yeah. I feel like um, you're part of a group of people, right? I, I want to say not even people. You're not from this world. I feel like as a light worker, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I do see you coming in as a star seed. I see you very connected to the divine here, and I'm seeing the divine coming in to show this person who they were messing with. Okay, so I'm feeling heavy star energy, star seed, right? A light worker energy, and I feel like there's not many of you, okay? There's not. Um, there's well, it's it's all of us, right? One hundred and forty-four thousand of us. We're all out here, okay? But and you're in. It, that's a very rare, small group of people. I mean, let's put it into perspective. There's one hundred and forty-four thousand of us light workers, okay? 
um, to a world of over 8 billion people. So you're a rarity, okay? Light workers are a rarity and very misunderstood. I feel like all the light workers have, we've been um, kind of kept hidden, right? We've been hidden, but that was part of our protection. And, um, and we've also had to go through just a pile of BS, right? For real. Um, that was to, to teach us and give us experience so that we can help lead and guide other people, okay? Um, but still, we've all been very misunderstood. Um, we've been treated like we're weirdos. We've been, and we are. We are the weirdos, mister. I'm hearing that from uh, um, The Craft, the movie The Craft, right? We are the weirdos, mister. Um, you've been laughed at. You've been made fun of. Um, you've been put down, dragged through the mud, had your reputation dragged through the mud, heavily taken for granted and taken advantage of, okay? Very misunderstood. Um, but, you know, now everybody, all the light workers are starting to show themselves, okay? Um, we're being put in the public eye somehow or on display, right? I feel like the divine is putting you on display and the spirit guides are coming in also to kick this person's behind, all right? Because of how they treated you. So, yeah, they're being haunted. They're being shown. Yeah, you're a warrior, you're a warrior as above, so below. You could be a fire sign as well, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? Um, I feel like people have really crucified you. I'm going to say that people have crucified you, as this person did, and maybe others um, in your, even in your inner circle. But now the truth is being exposed about about you and all the other light workers and who we are and why we're here and the abilities that we have and the fact that it's real it's very real okay and um, yeah they're being shown this yes they are it's giving this person headaches they're getting really bad headaches but it's also because of the hauntings <laughs> They are being haunted. There's one, two, three. There's at least three, three spirits or ancestors around this person. Um, not leaving them alone. All right. They're not getting much sleep at night either. Look at them. I can't sleep with these spirit guides around me. I can't sleep with these ancestors attacking me. Yeah, there's a whole group of, um, this is the Galactic Federation, right? Um, this could also be a whole community of people that went up against you. But I just feel like this is your ancestors and, and whatever spiritual team, they're rallied. Um, they're going in against this person to show them, show them what's actually going on. Okay? To, they're just haunting them. They're driving this person crazy. I'm feeling somebody getting touched in the middle of the night. They're having these nightmares literally getting touched they may be seeing some weird stuff in mirrors too i gotta say and that kind of creeps me out a little bit i don't even like to talk about that you could you imagine oh my gosh i feel like this person's kind of getting scared because i'm getting the chills here yep yeah. karma mysticism they're being shown that this is real yep and you're very loving. You show nothing but unconditional love. Um, this is like, man, it's almost like there's there could be a group of people in your community collective that are kind of working against you, teaming up to go against you here. But look at what's going on over here, right? I feel like... Um, there's a whole team of ancestors and spirit guides coming into battle against the rest of them. This masculine energy, I feel it's a masculine, is getting haunted already. And if a community of people don't stop messing with your energy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's like an army that's going to come in and bring these people down. Bring them down, okay? 
because you're being protected here and you're being shown you're it's almost like you're on display right people might want to go against you here but yeah no and I feel like you are very comfortable with these spirit guides. Maybe they've already shown you what they're doing in the background here. Um, and also, you stand for integrity. Yeah, this is one of the reasons, too, why you're so protected, is because you haven't, you haven't sent any bad energy out to anyone. You have been completely focused on what your guides and the divine are telling you to do. You're co-creating here with the divine, okay? in a creative way whatever you're growing creatively you could even be a public speaker here i'm feeling that star energy you guys so you could have your own platform doing something spiritual right um something um like a guide a light for other people speaking your truth here publicly maybe about your story okay that may be what's setting off this whole community is because you're speaking the truth but you're also being protected by the divine okay so yeah i feel like you're doing something in the public eye here and it's really upsetting a whole group of people but you're it's because you're talking about the truth you're exposing people with your intuition and they, they don't know how to stop it. That's why they have to all, I mean, it's going to take a whole dang neighborhood coming together, having a secret community meeting to try to strategize a plan to bring you down. Okay? That's how powerful and protected you are. Think about that. Think about that. All right. So give me just a couple more for the collective earth yeah you could be an earth sign you could be any sign right um taurus virgo capricorn energy yeah survival right adaptable reliable man whatever these people throw at you it's not going to touch you it's not going to have an effect it can't stop you okay you're resilient here you're resilient. So whatever bad energy, and they're being seen. If you look at this, it looks like an eye, right? They're being seen by the universe. All these people, man, I feel like they're under judgment. The divine knows what they're trying to do. But, you know, remember, you must be very powerful um, if it takes a whole community to try to bring you down and they still can't do it. Okay? Yeah, this is what you're doing is destiny here. Yes, yes, you're extremely tapped in, okay? You're, you're on your um, divine path here is what you're doing. This is light worker energy all the way. Yep, look at this. Some of you could even be moved to a new location. You could be receiving some kind of vision of moving away or changing locations. It's because the divine, these people over here may be so relentless, okay, and so negative that the divine may want to just get you away from them, all right, because I'm seeing movement, long distance, travel, excitement. Some of you could be getting enthusiastic about making a house move, changing to a new community, just because the divine is like, I feel like they're about to crack down on a whole community and they may want you out of the way. Okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm especially with you. Now we've got all the signs out here. Okay? I feel like you're in this empress energy. You could be, you could be any sign now at this point. We've got water, air, earth, and fire. Okay? Um, but yeah, you're, you could very well be getting discriminated against um, because people don't understand, right? They don't understand. You're different from everyone else. And, you know, here's the thing. You've got these abilities, like psychic abilities, right? And people fear what they don't understand. And when they're afraid, they try to squash the thing that they don't understand, okay? So, yeah, I feel like um, they may be discriminating against you in your community, something like that. I'm just sensing a lot of travel here. 
um, you being shown a vision or getting the messages that you may have to make a house move or even just a vacation to get away for a while, something like that. Um, because a whole group is going against you here. And the divine is wanting to come in and take care of these people. They want to get you out of the way. Do you see how you're right smack dab in the middle? Here's these people. They can see what they're doing. And here's that spiritual army over here ready to come in and, and, and um, fight this battle. Okay? So you're like in the middle. They're trying to get you out of the way. You see that? They're trying to get you out of the way of these people's karma. This masculine is already getting it. They are. Oh, they are. They're literally being poked and tortured, <laughs> like mentally tortured, you know. They're fearful. They're afraid. They've got, uh, they're being haunted. I, yeah, definitely. Um, by your ancestors, maybe even theirs. But there's a whole group here that still needs to be brought down. So you're being led to get yourself out of the way, okay? Um, let's see what your advice is. I feel like that is your advice, to be honest with you. So some of you may notice that it's time to make a house move, okay? <laughs> you like that at the split? All right, Divine, what is the collective's... Um, advice here. Advice for the collective. Yep, soulmate connection in reverse. Okay, I feel like, yep, letting that go and releasing the soulmate connection, right? Coming to the edge. This is um, releasing here and taking a leap of faith towards something new, a new journey. Okay, that goes along with this travel and a location change. Okay, some of you may be hoping for the money to be able to make that move and the divine is giving that to you. They're going to provide you with everything you need. If, they're, if you're being spiritually led, the divine will pave the way. Okay, seriously, the divine will pave the way for you. Yes, a lot of you are in the process of... Um, clearing out clutter right maybe packing some boxes maybe you don't even understand why you're doing that okay you may not even realize that you're preparing to be moved to a different location for some of you i've been picking up on that a lot um some of you are maybe feeling really tired right now i feel like um in your sleep you're getting downloads um, messages from the divine may be going through um, an ascension here. So this could be ascension symptoms, but I really feel like they're, um, they're revving up your spiritual abilities, okay? Your abilities are being heightened at this time. Things are coming to an end here, yep, and here's that house move, right? And the new direction, right? Yes. I feel like, yeah, you're being led someplace else and you're being prepared for, for some kind of major change here. You're being prepared for it now. Okay? Whether you realize that's happening or not. So get ready. Yeah, because I feel like they, they just want you out the way. They want you out of the way. Yes, quickly. Right? It may be fast. This may be a very fast move. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, get ready for that. But you're, you're, you need to release soulmate connections that are no longer for you. I feel like there's a soulmate connection here where time is up on. Thank you, I was just going to say that. Time's up. Time's up for this person. Okay. So, yeah, um, this, is a, this is a connection that's coming to an end. And your ancestors and spirit teams, man, I'm telling you, they're being sent in um, to haunt these people and bring them down, okay, as they move you out of the way. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got. This is what you need to know, right, from spirit. Um, 
So yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.